Hello and welcome to Wilcom Video Short Series for E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to use the basic uh, team names feature inside the program. Uh, the team name feature inside the program is designed to allow whether you have a single head machine or a multi head machine the ability to mass produce uh, team names. I'm going to start by navigating over to the left side of my screen here and uh, clicking on my team name over to the right side the team names uh, the property shows up and I'm gonna click on this first option here and this is the manage team name section as I left click it here on the screen um, I'm gonna have a, a box appear here um, you can type in your own team names here as I click the down arrow here I have my sample team here you can add sample teams like uh, volleyball or whether it be uh, fencing or anything like that you can add a team name uh, you can delete a team name and you could also rename a team name here as well uh, here uh, under my team members uh, window here I've got a list of names name one name two and name three okay and these particular names here basically are um, if you this is the first name last name and the city with that they're from I can add names also by clicking add and as you go in you will type your first name here it'll appear on the first uh, column second name here will appear under the second column third name here will appear under the third column we also have a feature inside the program that allows you to um, copy and paste names also without you having to write them down if a customer sends you a group of let's say 50 names um, we have a feature inside the program called quick names here uh, you can actually copy and paste those names um, from uh, a word document uh, excel document um, you can copy from those programs and paste them here actually it'll paste the names and separate them by adding commas after every name okay and that is the quick names feature inside the program once I've got my names here I want to move them over uh, to the team name list here and um, as I go in I'm gonna click on the double arrow here to add all um, so I've added those now to my uh, team name list and I'm ready to go on the screen now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna navigate down left click on the OK tab here and I can go in and I'm gonna left click I'm gonna make sure um, I'm just gonna left click here on the screen and I'm gonna press G to generate my stitches here and so I have a list of my names here now as I select them here on my list they're selected one by one here and they actually show up one by one as I uh, singly select them here as I select all here they'll show up this way now you also have here you have your properties so that you can set things up here also um, so if I click on my object properties let's say that I have a width of four inches that I can uh, only go max with this so I'm going to click on my properties here I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to set up a fixed line okay and uh, what I'm going to do here also I'm going to go into my settings here and I'm going to give it a four inch maximum width that I can't uh, exceed and I'm going to click OK so it goes in sets everything up like this uh, on my underlay settings uh, I can go in and uh, do a single underlay uncheck the second underlay which is not needed um, I can go also into my fills I can go in and set up uh, my density setting here at 80 okay so once I've gone in and done all of that um, I can go in uh, I'm going to navigate over to my design drop menu and I'm going to scroll down also and remove the small stitches using the small stitch filter here um, I'm going to take this to point 5, 0 0.5 5 tenths of a millimeter and click OK and what that does basically it um, deletes all of the stitches less than 5 tenths of a millimeter 
and those stitches can cause thread breaks or uh, and cause the design to run longer than necessary okay so I've got uh, you have the list here you can change the colors if you want to change the colors of it uh, uh, by selecting everything and changing the colors you do that also once I've got everything set making sure that um, my little white crosshair is in the center and you want to make sure that that's in the center um, if you want to check to make sure that it's it's correct you can go to your design drop menu and you can click on the auto start and end making sure that the apply auto start and end is selected and the maintain automatically uh, the auto start and end and you have your center selected here also which will be the center of the hoop okay so once I've done and I've gone through all that the next step here uh, is I'm gonna go up to my file drop menu I'll choose export machine file here I'll go in and I will go to options here and I'm gonna to go to team names now this is where the magic takes place uh, as far as the um, production of the, of the team names this first option here is uh, design and team names with stops is for a multi-head machine let's say if I had a six head machine and I had a baseball also associated with the names that I placed on the screen um, I would uh, hoop all six heads and I would press start it will stitch the all six baseballs at the same time okay once that completes then I will go in to my machine turn off head two through six and press start and it's gonna stitch the first name okay in the first hoop once that finishes I'll turn off head number one and I'll turn on head number two and it will stitch the second name okay once that finishes I'll turn off head number two I'll turn on head number three and it'll stitch the third name in the sequence that you have on the screen here so this first option here is for a multi-head machine the second option here is for a single head machine if you have a design associated with the team names for instance right now if I had a baseball associated with the names um, I would just hoop the first one put it on the machine it'll stitch the baseball in the first name once that's done I'll t remove that one I'll put on the second one it's gonna stitch the same baseball but it's gonna stitch the second name okay once that's complete uh, again I'll hoop it again it's gonna stitch the same baseball but the third name etc etc and in that order um, if you have your machine set up on a network uh, you can uh, definitely create multiple output files and send to those machines as well if you have a design part only let's say for instance if uh, you had a huge jacket back um, with a logo that had to stitch and you had names underneath it uh, what some people do is they will on my six head machine I could actually uh, hoop all six heads press start and six and uh, sew all of the logos first okay at once on my six head machine and once that's done I can leave those hooped actually and then take those to my single head machine and finish it off by running my my names underneath those okay team names only with stops this is if, if, if you only have lettering like we have now and what that's gonna do uh, it's gonna go in it's just gonna we're gonna hoop all the six heads on my machine I'll turn off head two through six and press start it's gonna stitch the first name in the first hoop and when that's done I'll pull that one off and I'll put the next one on and I'm gonna press start uh, on a single head machine um, my apologies for the multi head machine and so it'll it'll stitch them uh, individual here for uh, and this is the best option here for the single head machine as far as going in just doing the names uh, by you just uh, putting the name on it stitching it out and then hooping it again pressing start it's gonna stitch the second name then you go again you pull that one off put on the next one it'll stitch the third name and in that particular order as well so that's the order in which they will stitch for that uh, uh, machine if you're only running uh, the names only with stops okay here you have your auto start and end here you have it in the middle here that is selected here and so that's going to do it for the team names basically once I select OK here I can save those then to my um, flash stick uh, to my hard drive or if I'm going to send it out to my machine I can uh, do that at this particular stage here and then click save that's going to do it for our standard team names 
I thank you for joining me tonight. As always, we ask that you visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.